We all know this is one half, right? But what do we call it? Remember, it's not an integer. We call it a fraction. Fractions are written with one number on top and one number at the bottom with a line dividing them, like this. Let's say that x and y could be any number. We call the x the numerator and the y the denominator. The only rule with fractions is that the denominator cannot be zero. Let's look at the two kinds of fractions you will encounter. We call these proper fractions. This means that the numerator, in this case the 1 and the 4, is smaller than the denominator, in this case the 3 and the 7. Other examples could be... So even though the numbers are large, the numerators are still smaller than the denominators, so they are all proper fractions. So what happens when the numerator is bigger than the denominator? We call these improper fractions. Other examples would be... Improper fractions can be further simplified. Let's take the example of 15 over 4. First we ask how many 4s are in 15? So there are 3 4s in 15, which makes 12, and there is a remainder of 3. So we write it as 3 and 3 quarters. This is what we call a mixed number. Let's look at another example. This is an improper fraction that we would like to turn into a mixed number. We know that there is 120 in 21 and a remainder of 1. So we write it as 1 and 1 over 20 or 1 and 1 twentieth. And there we have it as a mixed number. But can we convert mixed numbers into improper fractions? Certainly! All you have to do is multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the answer to the numerator, like this. We say 5 multiplied by the denominator, which is 9. The answer is 45. We add the numerator, which is 2. So 45 plus 2 equals 47. So the mixed number, 5 and 2 ninths, is 47 over 9 as an improper fraction. So what is the importance of fractions? Well, we don't always work in whole numbers or integers. Sometimes we work in parts, or what we call fractions. Knowing how to identify fractions and convert them into mixed numbers are important in mathematics. So let's review what we've learned. Fractions are numbers that are written in the form of x over y. x and y being different numbers. x is the numerator and y is the denominator. In order for it to be a fraction, the denominator cannot be zero. Proper fractions are fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator, like 5 over 9 or 3 quarters. Improper fractions are fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, like 17 over 14 or 3 over 2. Finally, improper fractions can be written as mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are written as a whole number and a proper fraction. 3 over 2 can be written as 1 and 1 half. And we can also convert mixed numbers into fractions. So have fun with fractions, both proper and improper, and see if you can convert improper fractions into mixed numbers. The more you practice, the quicker you'll become.